Idealism also called the spiritual approach, the allegorical approach, the nonliteral approach, and many other names in Christian eschatology is an interpretation of the Book of Revelation that sees all of the imagery of the book as symbols. Jacob Taubes writes that idealist eschatology came about as Renaissance thinkers began to doubt that the kingdom of heaven had been established on earth, or would be established, but still believed in its establishment. Rather than the kingdom of heaven being present in society, it is established subjectively for the individual. F. D. Maurice interpreted the kingdom of heaven idealistically as a symbol representing society's general improvement, instead of a physical and political kingdom. Karl Barth interprets eschatology as representing existential truths that bring the individual hope, rather than history or future history. Barth S ideas provided fuel for the social gospel philosophy in America, which saw social change not as performing required good works, but because the individuals involved felt that Christians could not simply ignore society's problems with future dreams. Different authors have suggested that the beast represents various social injustices, such as exploitation of workers, wealth, the elite, commerce, materialism, and imperialism. Various Christian anarchists, such as Jacques Ellul, have identified the state and political power as the beast. It is distinct from preterism, futurism, and historicism in that it does not see any of the prophecies, except in some cases the second coming and final judgment, as being fulfilled in a literal, physical, earthly sense, either in the past, present, or future. And that to interpret the eschatological portions of the Bible in a historical or future historical fashion is an erroneous understanding. Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Preterist Idealism